Shalom everybody, I'm Miriam Peretz. My English is not well, but if you can understand my heart and not only my word. So I, I want to share with you a little story. My big story is the story of, this, of our land, Eretz Israel. I lost two of my children, Uriel and Eliraz, in the wars of Israel. Uriel fallen in the battlefield in Lebanon, and Eliraz, my second son, fallen in the battle in Gaza Strip. When they uh, fallen, I continue, I continue to live. And I come here to United States many times to speak for FIDF. One of the times that I come to America, I come to Lawrence. And in this week, who come with me? The storm sand. So it was very cold, and there is no electric. And one of my friends, she is a flight attendant, she told me, Miriam, come to me. I am in Manhattan, in 45th Street. I have electric, it will be here very warm for you and good. So I came to this hotel. We have a little room in this uh, hotel. Which room? A room that all the fly attendants drink their coffee. I come with Maddy to this room. After half hour, Another flight attendant come to this room. But I teach my children, please speak with people. When you speak, when you open your heart, you hear many, many stories. So I ask this flight attendant, please tell me what how you will spend here Shabbat? What you will do in, on Shabbat? And she said, Oh, Miriam, this is a big question. And I asked, big question, why? 
I only ask how you will spend your Shabbat here. And she said, if you ask me this question before seven months, I will give you another answer. Before seven months, I was in South America. I spent my life in very, very stupid things. I didn't eat kosher. I didn't know nothing about God. I do many, many bad things. And I was ill. And when I was ill, someone gave me a book. And when I finished to read this book, I become to be religious. I changed my life. This book changed my life. So I asked her, please tell me, what is the name of this book? Because I also want to change my life. She said, you can never understand. You can't read this book. It will be very difficult for you to understand. Don't read this book. And I said, so please, give me the name of the book. And she said, Shirat Miriam, the song of Miriam. You know, I wrote this book. I wrote this book about my story. So, I asked her, what, uh, what this book tell us? And she said, it's about a mother that lost two children. But Miriam, it's very difficult to understand this book. And you are here in the United States. Maybe you come here to the hotel. You, you, you do life here. You, you will never understand this mother. So I asked her, if you will meet this Miriam Peretz, the writer of the book, and she say, I will never meet her. Why? Because God punished me. Now I am a fly attendant. I go from land to land, from country to country, where I can see this woman. I come to make a coffee. I take the glass and come near this girl. And I said, I am Miriam. I said, no, it can't be. I said, yes, I am Miriam Peretz. I am the mother of the two boys. The story that you read in South America is my story. I am very happy that this story changed your life. So I told him, what is the meaning of Shabbat for me? The meaning of Shabbat for me is when you see someone, ask him, what you do in Shabbat? Where you spend your Shabbat? Where you go? What you will do in this Shabbat? And you will open a big, big story. And this is what we call in Hebrew, Yad Elohim, the hand of God. In this big storm, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave me a big gift. I met someone that changed her life only with one question. What do you do on Shabbat? So please go to Shabbat.com and invite it these people and maybe they will tell you a story of Shabbat.